Hello to all of the Scorpios out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading is going to be for the time frame of March the 18th through March the 24th. This reading will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. But if you have Scorpio in your moon, Venus, or rising, this reading may be for you. If this reading resonates with your situation, so hit the subscribe and um, notification bell for upcoming videos. Scorpio, this reading is for the time frame of March, March 18th through March the 24th. I hope this re reading resonates with your situation. Again, if it does, and you like the video or um, if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for upcoming videos I'm sorry I have to, um, get these cards in order because they were like Messed up. <laughs> okay. One more shuffle. One more. Okay, let's meditate on the cards for a moment. Okay, let's begin. <coughs> Spirit, what is the current energy? For the sign of Scorpio. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. Earth Energy. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I'm going to move that card up some. Spirit, what is influencing this energy? What is influencing this energy? Is the Nine of Swords. Air, Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is the Pays Energy for the sign of Scorpio. This is the Pays Energy. This. Oh. Okay. We have the, mag the moon that came out. And the magician card came out with it for past energy. What is the immediate past energy for the sign of Scorpio? What is the immediate past energy? Thank you. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Scorpio, what are your crowning thoughts? What are your crowning thoughts at this time, Scorpio? Okay. What 
We have the five, the five of wands. What is your future energy? Mm. The four of pentacles. What are your fears? What are your fears? Okay, fearing the seven of cups. How do others see you at this time? How do others see you? Okay, that's too many cards. Others are seeing you as, and I have two cards that came out. We have the Six of Wands that came out, and it came out with the Knight of Cups. Spirit, what is Scorpio hoping for? Okay, the Sun. And what is the outcome for the Sun of Scorpio? What is the outcome? Okay, that's too many. For the sign of Scorpio. Okay. The fool. Okay. Move this out the way. All right. And then we have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So, let's begin. So, Scorpio, your current energy is the, oh, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with one of those signs. Or you could have that sign in your chart. Doesn't matter. The energy is um, stable with the Pentacles. Some type of stable foundation. Um, you could, um, you could. Be in a no-nonsense um, type mood or mood at this time. But this is represents some type of stability. Stability, a firm foundation after um, being, feeling like you were being deceived or hurt or on guard. Because she looked like she's guarded. She got swords up at the, the window blocking things from coming in and going out um she's sitting up with her arms across her chest she is um she looks like she's guarded and she's thinking waiting for something of wisdom Get trying to get wisdom about something with this owl right there. And the owl represents wisdom. So she could be sitting up all night gaining or getting wisdom in regards to um, a foundation. With the moon card and the magician card. And you have, this is something, you have four major arcanas in this um this reading but with the moon card being here this um it kind of goes with what's influencing this energy because this represents illumination um so it, it represents darkness like you could be you could have been uncertain about something and um it caused you to be up all night thinking about it 
and you were trying to manifest something in a situation. You were trying to manifest something in a, in a situation with the magician. But maybe something happened quickly, like someone came in and caused some um, some chaos. in this situation or someone moved in or could have been someone um, speaking foolishly to you or some someone came in quickly in regards to the situation maybe with some conflicting um, energy like they could have came in quick with an argument something that was um caused you to feel like you were conflicted about something because you have the five of the five of wands here and your crown and thoughts so let's see what that um five of wands is about spirit what is that um five of wands still for the sign of scorpio why is this five of wands there for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. The three of swords. So. Something. Um, it was an argument that came in. Someone came to you quickly. With. Some type of conflict. And it caused you an argument. So now. In the future, with the Four of Pentacles, and this could be in regards to money, Scorpio. Scorpio. At this time, you're holding on tight to what you have. After you felt pressured or strained regarding this argument so this someone could have been asking you for money and they were arguing with you about it and now it, it caused you it, you're going to be holding on to your money or holding on tight you're going to be holding on tight To what you have. Um, you fear. That the situation is not going to go as planned. That's why you're holding on to, to what you have. Because you don't know how it's going to turn, turn out. And that's what you fear. That things are not going to go as planned. And. Others are seeing you as. The Six of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So others are seeing you um, as moving into harmony because this horse is moving slowly. But he, they both look like the, the man and the horse look like they're at peace. And while others are in dark, in the dark about what's going on, they're in peace. So others could see you move. Others could feel as if you are moving towards stability or harmony in the situation. And you're moving towards something, but you may not be saying anything to anyone about it, about what you're doing. And then with the Knight of Cups that came out with it, this movement is going to... Um, Thought, thought out. Like you're still going to be nice. Or the, 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 the person 
the people that's looking at you, they feel like you're you're still being kind to them, you're being nice, you're still being loving, but they can also feel that you are moving towards harmony as well after this, this argument. And then the sun comes out, which is Leo's energy. So you're moving towards, you're hoping for happiness in the situation. You're hoping for happiness. You're hoping that um, you're going to be moving towards happiness, um, sunlight, um, yeah, your outcome is the fool so you could be moving towards an, um, a new journey moving on to a new journey you could um eventually have lots of other things to um juggle you could have um, more opportunities or unexpected opportunities on this journey But you're moving, you're moving forward, Scorpio. You're moving forward. Let's get one more card to see what you're moving towards. Spirit, what is Scorpio moving towards? What's the sign of Scorpio moving towards? Why is that blue card there? What is Scorpio? Okay. So, we have two cards that came out. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the Strength card that came out with it. So, you could be moving towards... Um, you could need strength to move forward. Or someone could be guiding you. Because she looks like she's um, guiding guiding that lion and I only say that because she has the chain the chain that's around his neck is in her hand so you could need strength moving forward with this fool card and um, on this new journey of not knowing where you're going because maybe you got some bad news or something with the Page of Swords. Some news came in and it caused you to um, feel disappointed. Or it could have caused a delay and you need strength to move forward. So with the the fool card, you're moving forward on a new journey. You have lots of things to juggle, and you're going to need strength in order to get to where you're going or to do what you want to do. And with the page of swords, you may have a delay. You may have a delay. But with this strength, you're going to be able to move forward. With this strength, you're going to be able to move forward. I'm going to pull one more card. One more card. Why is that page of swords there? For the sign of Scorpio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, there's going to be a delay because you're working hard. Um, you may feel overwhelmed. But you're leaving the, some of these burdens behind. So I, how I would look at it is with the full card, you are, you are going to be moving towards a new journey, juggling lots of things, and you're going to need strength with the strength card being there. You're going to have some delays, which is going to cause you to feel like you're working hard and you're not getting to, you're not, um, 
getting to You're not getting to um, where you want to be or you're not, you just feel like you're working hard and you're not, you may feel like you're not succeeding at this time. You're not succeeding towards the goal that you, that you want or something you, you're working hard, but you're not where you want to be. But because you had so many things that you're juggling, but you're going to start leaving those burdens behind. You're still going to work, but you're going to leave those burdens behind. <clears throat> but it's still not saying what you're working towards. Okay. You're going and work to seek out help. It's still, it's the same thing over and over again. <coughs> Going from the beginning. You went internally. You um, was waiting, trying to manifest um, this new beginning. Um, someone came at you or tried to start in, they started an argument with you in regards to this situation regarding your money. You held on tight. You fear that um, you're not going to be able to um, be, you're not, you, you fear that things are not going to work out in your favor with the Seven of Cups, but others see you as moving towards stability in the situation or moving forward in, in the situation. You're ho hoping that something is illuminated or that you're going to be happy but you're still juggling things. You still have a lot of things going on. And you need strength to get through it with the strength card. And um, with the Page of Swords, they may, there may be some type of delay. But you're still working. You're beginning to leave the burdens behind. and But you're still moving forward. Working. Like, you're leaving some of the burdens behind, but you're still working towards your this goal. So, Scorpio, that is your reading. I hope it resonated with you. Um, I'm not going to pull a love oracle card because this reading is about um, finances. So, that's what I feel in my spirit. So, I'm not going to... Pull a love oracle card. I'm going to leave this reading as that. If this reading resonated with you, um, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future videos. Um, I'm sending love, light, peace on today. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.